Back to my editorial on Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Listen to what she says about jobs and the economy. Roll tape. We look at these figures and we say, oh, unemployment is low. Everything is fine, right? Well, unemployment is low because everyone has two jobs. I think that's simplistic. Unemployment is low because people have two jobs. I think that's utterly wrong. But joining you now, fellow New Yorker, Republican Congressman Lee Zeldin. Congressman, um, could, she could help you in November. You're a Republican Congressman from Long Island, New York. She could help you, couldn't she? I, I care more about my country than I do about uh, in my own re-election. Uh, and it's scary to think that there are these people around our country uh, who not just believe uh, what she is talking about, but actually running as uh, a, a proud socialist and getting elected. Uh, th these aren't people who are running you know, vanity third party campaigns and getting 6% of the vote. These are the people who would be making up the rank and file to elect Nancy Pelosi as next speaker or to make Maxine Waters chair of the House Financial Services Committee. Uh, so it's important to talk about who the leadership of their party is and, and who the leadership of their party would be. Uh, but it's also important to get to know who the rank and file are to be setting the agenda uh, and pushing these policies that are, that are completely out of touch. So I'm actually much more concerned for the future of our country uh, than any benefit that I would try to gain out of it politically. I, I could care less about that. I care more about our flag. Uh, I want to give you one more from uh, Alexander, uh, th this young lady. Listen to what Ocasio-Cortez said about Israel. Roll that tape, please. You use the term the occupation of Palestine. Um, I think it, what I meant is like the, the settlements and places where... Um, or Palestinians are experiencing uh, difficulty. Do you think you can expand on that? I am not the expert on geopolitics on this issue. Congressman, I'm throwing this to you because you are a Jewish Republican congressman from the New York area. What do you say about that? Uh, she has no idea what she's talking about, and she's getting her talking points from organizations that are pro-Palestinian, anti-Israeli. They, they will say that there's an illegal occupation of Palestine, and these are the same people who, when you're teaching your class to college students, the professor will put up a map of the Middle East and where it's supposed to say Israel, it'll just say Palestine uh, for the whole area. Some of these groups make themselves out to be pro-Israel groups, uh, yet they support, when you had a UN Security Council resolution just before President Trump came into office that passed the UN Security Council seeking to essentially ethnically cleanse Judea and Samaria and East Jerusalem of Jews, calling it a, a violation of international law and illegal occupation. She has no idea what she's talking about. She needs to study the borders, the history, also understand that many times the Palestinians have had an opportunity to vote for their own state and they chose not to create their own state with that territory. So then it becomes disputed territory, not occupied territory. One other point I would make uh, as relates to this point and your last one with regards to this person who's going to be a new congressman from New York uh, is that the Democratic, her Democratic, new Democratic colleagues uh, all across the country, they're not speaking out in disagreement with everything she's saying. They're, they're speaking up, they're critical, some are critical of her that she's not making friends, uh, that she should be more gracious, she should be more friendly to Joe Crowley, uh, that she should you know, uh, put her time in before she's speaking out like this. But notice that from one issue to the next, they aren't disagreeing with her. This is the Democratic Party. This isn't the fringe anymore. They're taking over. And it says a lot that, that House and Senate, especially even the Senate Democrats who want to become president, None of them are disagreeing with her on anything she's saying. Extraordinary. Congressman Lee Zeldin, Republican, New York, thanks for joining us, sir. We'll see you again soon.